If you're trying to learn how to tongue lightly on the saxophone because you're accenting the notes too much when you're tonguing and you're wondering how people do that light tonguing on the sax, this lesson's for you. I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step, but it all starts by just taking the mouthpiece and neck off the sax. So we're gonna focus on our tonguing technique with just the mouthpiece and neck. And what we're trying to do here is just use the very tip of our tongue to tongue the reed. This is how you get a lighter tonguing and you wanna just practice with the mouthpiece and neck. So we're gonna use the tip of our tongue here and we're gonna use that part of our tongue to tongue the reed. So it sounds like this. So this is a little different from regular tonguing which will sound a little more defined like this. So I'm gonna go into a lot more detail on how to do legato tonguing so you can sound smoother as you're playing the sax. But before I get into it, my name's Alexander Mathias from saxophonemasterclass.com and on this channel, I show you exactly how to learn and master the saxophone even if you're a complete beginner. I give you step-by-step -step lessons to get you started with learning your favorite songs, learning how to improve your technique, learning how to improve your tone. It's all on this channel. But if you wanna go even deeper with me on how to learn and master the sax, check out my free saxophone mastery secrets webinar there's a link below this video or just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash secrets so go and check it out at the end of this lesson so again you want to just focus on using the mouthpiece and neck and use the tip of your tongue to play the note and you want to tongue the reed as fast as possible when you're doing this legato tonguing technique so this is what's happening inside my mouth as i'm doing legato tonguing Da 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 da. It's a very quick motion, and again, I'm using the tip of my tongue rather than a little further in on my tongue, which is what you would do for normal tonguing. So the more accent you want to give to your tonguing, the further in you go on your tongue, and the less accent you want to give, which is what legato tonguing is all about, the closer to the tip of your tongue you want to be. So this is how you get light feather-like tonguing. Let me show you what it sounds like again. and compare that now to regular tonguing. So with regular tonguing, I'm a little further in on my tongue, like this. Ta, 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 ta. And with lighter legato tonguing, I'm closer to the tip of my tongue, like this. Da, 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 da. So this is the difference between regular tonguing and legato tonguing. So practice this over and over. Try to keep a steady tone the entire time. Try not to put a gap in between every time you tongue the note. So instead of like this, you want a steady tone and separate that tone with different legato tonguing like this. And that's how you should practice legato tonguing with just the mouthpiece and neck. But now we're gonna move on to the rest of the saxophone and we're just gonna pick a note that you can practice this legato tonguing with. So we're gonna practice on the note G, which is just those three fingers in the left hand. And we're gonna play that note as long as we can with separating the note using legato tonguing, like this. <laughs> And that's what we want to do next. Practice with just the G note on the saxophone and try to practice separating the note using legato tonguing. And you can practice this on all the different notes of the saxophone, but I recommend starting in the middle range. Go from G up to G with the octave key and practice on all the notes on say the G major scale. So the G major scale is G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and then G with the octave key. And you want to practice just then playing every note of that scale using legato tonguing. So you want to keep the scale smooth and connected, but you want to separate each note using legato tonguing. So it sounds like this.
So that's G major ascending and descending using legato tonguing to tongue every single note of the scale. So it sounds smooth and connected, but there's this slight articulation on every note to help give it more definition without being too aggressive with your tonguing. So I'm gonna play you G major using regular tonguing ascending, and then I'm gonna play you G major using legato tonguing ascending, and you can hear the differences between the two. So you should be able to hear that the first time I played it was more defined. You could hear the tonguing very clearly, but the second time I played it, it was very light in the way I defined each note. And that's when I played it legato tonguing using the tip of my tongue. So this is how you start to practice legato tonguing on the saxophone. But again, if you want to go into even more depth on how to start improving your tone, how to start learning scales, how to start improving your technique, check out my free Saxophone Mastery Secrets webinar where I tell you everything you need to know about how to learn and master your favorite songs using these different technique exercises. It's completely free, go and check it out now. And if you wanna learn more about how to do regular tonguing on the saxophone, go and check out this next lesson here, where I go even more in depth on regular tonguing on the saxophone, especially if you're in the beginning stages, this is a great lesson to go ahead and check out. So let me know what you think. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. Comment below if you did. And until next time, my friend, have a great day, have a great week and happy playing.